What's going on, guys? I'm Ryan Roots. And I'm Ally Roots. And with our powers combined, we are Rally Roots. <laughs> so cheesy. <laughs> so a lot of people have asked us how we do our photos, and this is going to be a video about how I do our photos. <laughs> how Allie does her photos, because I don't really take pictures. I do a lot of the listing, and Allison does the pictures. I actually enjoy doing the photos. Ryan does not like doing the photos. I hate doing the listing, and Ryan likes doing the listing. That's so. why we're a dream team, <laughs> power couple. <laughs> Here we go, guys. So, tip number one, use a good background. We use palettes now. Um, this palette was free. We built this. But whenever you're starting out, you really don't need to go out there and buy anything unique or fancy. What we started out with was a white sheet that we got at a garage sale, actually, which is, I think we paid like $2 for it. Um, we just hung it on the wall with a couple of tiny little nails, and it worked great. Or for the smaller items, what you can always do is just use a piece of white poster board, and you can get that at Walmart, Dollar Tree. It's really inexpensive. It's probably about 50 cents a piece. Tip number two for taking really good pictures for eBay is to make sure that you guys are using good lighting. Lighting makes all the difference in your pictures. Now again, you don't have to go out and buy fancy studio lighting. You can even use natural light, like a nice window or something. That works really well for eBay. But if you don't have that natural light, any good lamp or, you know, like a bright light with a good bulb in it works fine. We like to use a nice ring light. You can get them on Amazon. They're not super expensive. They're like $80. The only thing that I will say is do not get those umbrella lights. I know that they're cheap, but they're they're not very good for taking pictures. The box lights, the nice soft box lights do work well for eBay, uh, but our favorite is the ring light. And by the way, I'll link some of these items that we do use down in the description if you do want to see what we like to use. Tip number three, use a good camera. This is not a good camera. <laughs> That's a bulldog. Bulldog! We usually use our Canon DSLR. But an iPhone or a Galaxy S or something like that is fine to use. You just want to use a camera that can take really good high quality pictures. You don't want to use like a Razor flip phone or something. <laughs> right, like high resolution pictures is key because people are going to zoom in to look at those imperfections. You don't want it grainy. So don't take pictures in low light, especially if you are using a phone. Yeah. You do need that high light. So if yes. you use in conjunction with the good light, an iPhone or a Galaxy, something of the sorts, that's completely fine. You don't have to go out and buy a fancy one of these. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the warehouse. Tip number four, guys, make sure that you always take close-up photos of any flaws. So on these shoes, for example, there's a little scuff. I'm going to zoom into that scuff with the camera, and I'm going to make sure I get a really, really good photo of it. Sometimes what I'll even do in the photos is I'll hold my finger pointing at the scuff so that people do not miss it. You can make an arrow, you can point at it, you can put a coin next to it. Just make sure that when people are looking through the photos that they will see any type of flaws. So on eBay, you are allowed 12 photos per listing, so I make sure that I always get 12 great photos. I max out the photos because why not? It just shows the person what they're buying and it just communicates visually to the buyer what they're buying. Sometimes they don't read a description, so I just always assume that they're only going to look at the photos, so I take all the photos. So at garage sales and thrift stores, sometimes the items we get are older, they're a little dirty, dusty. Make sure you wipe them down. It really only takes a couple of minutes to clean the item up, make it shine, make it sparkle. You want it to look its best. You don't want people to think that you don't take care of your items because you do. And so if you get things like leather shoes, which is pretty common for us, you can just get a nice leather polish or a leather conditioner, wipe it down, make it shine, bring it back to life whenever you do take that extra minute or two to make your items look their best. They'll sell faster compared to other items that are similar and they're gonna sell for more. So it's definitely worth that little bit of time. Tip number five for taking the best pictures for eBay. When you're taking pictures of clothing items, there's a few ways that you can take those pictures so they look really nice. Number one is you can use a mannequin. Number two is you can model them yourself and have a friend take pictures of you or again, take pictures with a friend and take pictures of them. When you do that, just take pictures from the neck down so that your face isn't in the pictures. Or a really easy, good way to take pictures if you don't have the mannequin or you don't want to model the clothes is called flat lay. 
And how that works is you literally flat lay the clothes down on the ground or on like a nice white background or a poster board or something like that, just so that the background looks good. We like to use the concrete because it does make the pictures look nice. But literally you just set up the item exactly like this, snap your picture, turn it over, get all the pictures that you need. One good thing that you should do as well is keep a measuring tape handy so that you can get the measurements of your item while you're taking the pictures. In fact, we even sometimes take pictures with the measuring tape in, the, in with the item so that when we upload the picture to eBay, the customer knows exactly what those measurements are. Okay guys, well I hope that gives you... Sorry. <laughs> I <don't>, yeah. <laughs> I was looking at you. All right guys, so I hope that really helps you with your photo taking. Again, this is just the way that we do it. The way you're doing it could be great, but just tips to abide by. I hope that they help. If you guys have any other questions about how we take pictures or how to take the best pictures, leave them in the comments. We are very responsive to our YouTube comments. We try to answer all of them back. We hope you guys like this video. If you want to see anything else from us, if you have something particular that you want us to talk about, again, let us know in the comments. Please like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and we will keep putting out content for you guys. Thanks for watching. Again, I'm Ryan Roots. And I'm Allie Roots. And together, we're Rally Roots. Rally Roots. <laughs>